Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well and welcome to my office. I feel like I haven't filmed in here even ever maybe, but welcome. Today we're doing something a little different and also yes, I got my hair cut. If you guys have been watching, I cut off like eight inches. So it's definitely a different look. I'm still getting used to it, of course. But today we're gonna do something fun and I thought it'd be cool to go along with me today as I package up some sales, I scheduled a porch pickup, so I wanna make sure I get everything out quickly. But I've got some pieces here that I've already grabbed that I need to send out. I've got some things already packaged up down there, but I still have to grab some things. So I thought I'd take you guys along with me as I do some shipping, but also I did go to a Goodwill yesterday. And so I also wanna take you guys along with me. I filmed while I was there. So today's a little bit of a shipping and shopping video, which I have seen other resellers do. And I think it's so fun to watch. Um, my friend Lori Tata, she calls it a ship and shop too. And so I wanna make sure I give her credit, but I definitely wanna try it out. Let's do it together. If you guys like shipping and shopping videos, then that is great. We can do more of them. So now I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna show you whatever I packaged up what they sold for, and then we're gonna grab some things too. So let's do this thing. Okay, so I've got my whole setup on my amazing antique workbench. I love working from this, it's so fun. Um, but I have a few things pulled and I've got their labels with them. This first thing was a Disneyland Resort long sleeve shirt. And I'll be putting up some pictures on the screen for you guys too. But this actually sold on my Mercari. So I've actually been getting some actual sales on Mercari, which is um, different than normal for sure. But I'm really pleased. And this was in my inventory for so long. Um, so I'm glad I finally found someone that would love it. And I believe I got this in the bin, so I paid about a dollar or two is my guess. And I sold it on Mercari for $25. And then from 25, we'll make probably close to 20 bucks on that piece. So that was a good sale and I'm happy to be moving it. And then I got a kind of lower offer on these Birkenstocks. And I decided to accept it because in my pictures, I had a little kind of like white dot on the top of one of these. And I didn't realize that. I think it might've just been a piece of lint or something cause it's not on there anymore. So I accepted a lower offer. I listed these navy blue Birkenstocks at $50, I believe. They're really cute. Um, but I accepted a $25, $27 offer. Let me look real quick. But yeah, I accepted a $27 offer on these, which if I would have known that they were in really good condition, I probably wouldn't have accepted that, but that's okay. I'll make $21. I got them in the bins, so I made probably about 20 bucks on those, which is still pretty great. So those are the pieces that I've grabbed. We also have this pair over here too. And this, ooh, I put a receipt in here. Whoa, look at me go. I got these at a local Goodwill. And I believe I can probably tell off the bottom how much I paid. I paid $6.99 for these. These were $7. They're a pair of Paul Green shoes. And um, this is my first time selling Paul Green. These are really cute. They're in a size five and a half from Paul Green, which I feel like is a pretty good size from them. But for, for this sale, I'm so excited because I actually sold these on eBay. And if you guys have been following along, I had to restart my eBay account because I was in just like trouble with my stats. And so I decided to just start it over. I decided to just do the thing and just delete everything. I was paying for a store. I just couldn't, in the very beginning, I didn't realize I was a Poshmark seller first. And so I thought, oh, if I cancel a sale, it's not a huge deal. Like it's not gonna ding me as a seller, but on eBay it does. And so before I knew what was happening, it was already too late for my store. And I knew I couldn't come back from it. So um, in order to get the kind of level of seller I wanted to, I was literally gonna have to sell like a thousand items and have nothing wrong with any of them, but I only was allowed to sell like 10 items a month. So it was, it was too far gone. So um, I decided to start over my eBay store and this is one of the first few sales I've had on it. So I'm really hopeful that I will get it really starting to go and not be like all the scams here soon. But this sold for $50 on eBay, accepted a $50 offer. So we'll probably make what close to like 40 bucks on these, which is really great, especially since I paid $6.99. So that's a great sale. And then over here, I have all of these guys packaged up. My wonderful husband already packaged these for me, which is so nice. He did that for me while I was out getting my hair done and while I was thrifting. So that is so, so sweet here, but let's get down here and get close and personal, eh? Um, but we have what, five sales, four sales packaged right here. 
One of these was a vintage wool blend knit funky sweater. Um, it was the brand Progetto. I got this in the bins. It's been in my inventory for a while now, but it sold for 40 bucks. So we're going to make $36 from that or $32 after everything is said and done. So he packaged up this Lily Pulitzer Y2K sweater that sold for $29. From $29, what we make $21.18. And he also already packaged this recent pickup, which was a new tags J Jill wherever V neck back pleat dress. It was in a size 3X and I found it in the bins pretty recently, actually. So for $26, that sold. We made $20.80. And then the last piece in here, this big box right here, very exciting, is this dress that my mom actually picked up for me. She called me from a garage sale and asked me if I wanted it. And I was like, oh, after I looked it up, yes, I do. It's a Tiffany Designs embroidered formal ball gown in a size 24, and it sold for $100. And my mom paid $5 for me for it. And I paid her back, of course, but... $5 and it sold for $100. That means we make $80. So $75 net profit. What up? That feels great. So that's amazing. Um, but now everything else we have to go find, which we have some really good sales. So let's go find those real quick. And then I will package them up and we'll get to shopping as well. How fun. So welcome to my garage. The lighting in here is absolutely crazy, absolutely wild, but it has been so cold here. Normally I would open up my garage door to give us light. But this is the first day in probably a couple weeks that it's not been negative degrees. So we're going to leave that door closed. So we're going to make do with this lighting. Okay, my first thing is in jackets one. Okay, so let me pull this puppy out and find it for us. Do you ever have that moment when you're looking in your inventory and you're like, I don't think that's in there. And then you find it and you're like, oh, praise God. <laughs> that happens to me all the time, unfortunately. First thing, an NFL jacket. This we have had for a long time, very long time, but we finally sold it and Jeremy actually sold it on his Poshmark. He has a Poshmark too with some of my older like menswear pieces listed. So let's kick it over to our pile we're starting. But we got the jacket, so that's great. I'm using my deep freeze as a table for now classic definitely very classy environment to work in this sold for 15 bucks and if i would have listed this now and you know kind of probably listed it with better keywords it probably would have sold for more but that's okay 15 dollars, and that makes us 12 dollars, which is great and all the sales will add up for sure and then we have a nike dry fit shirt that we picked up my very first video ever on youtube on our honeymoon we've been married for almost four years so we've had this for a long time and this one is in tops too, so let me go over here and find that. Here we go, tops two. And there it is. We've had this for so long. Oh my gosh. Okay, a Nike shirt. Um, I am thinking about redoing my entire concept of where I have all of my bins, where I keep my shoes. We've got a lot that I'm working through right now, but this, at least I found it. That's great. And this sold for a whopping $8.00. So $8 in the pile. From $8, we're making $3.03. But these little sales will add up. But also, I wanted to start with the little sales because I don't want you to think that all I sell is $100 items because we did sell a $100 dress. I have a $150 sale I have to grab as well. But some of these older items, I lowered all the prices to $10. I'm just trying to get rid of them. I'm trying to move them. So that $8 sale, that's one of those. <laughs> but... I want to show that there is a variety of things that we're selling and it's not always those amazing sales that you see. So that's what I have so far. So then this next sale, the $150 sale. I'm so excited. This pair of Valentino sunglasses sold. So let me grab them and then we'll talk more about those. So I grabbed the sunglasses. I was able to find them and the case. I will talk more about those when we get inside where there's a little bit better lighting because that is a fabulous, fabulous sale. And I want to give it its due attention. But now a few more pieces to grab. So now we have something to grab in sweaters 18 and 24. So I've got a free pool piece that's sold as well as a J gel piece. So let's grab those real quick. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the first piece. It is this Free People Lace Telltale Heart Tunic. I believe I got this at a Goodwill for like $3 or like $2 or something crazy. That's what she looks like. And she sold for $40. So I'll put this sold up on the screen for you. But from $40, we make $32. So I'm excited about that. That's a good sale for us. I said the other one was in 24. So that's a little bit over this way. Um, 24. Here we go. Okay. This piece is new at Tags. And it's from J. Jill. It's in a size 2X. It's a gorgeous, really gauzy, white, ruffled blouse. Honestly, I don't even remember where I got this. I think I might have gotten this in the bins. Or maybe at a Goodwill. So the max I paid for this was 4 or $5. It sold, I think, for $28. <laughs> I'll put that up on the screen, though, too. And so we make probably about 20 bucks from this piece, which is great. Okay, so then the last thing I have to grab is actually brand new. I need to put some clothes away into my inventory system. So these are just kind of in there for now, but I can see it poking out. That has to be it. This sold really quickly. And it is this gorgeous Lauren Ralph Lauren blazer. It's in a gorgeous navy blue. I found it in the bins. It's stunning. It sold within the first week I listed it for $64, I believe. So really good sale and that will be on the screen but that's the last thing i'm grabbing from my garage so i need to do some work in here we'll get to it but for right now i'm happy that we grabbed some sales we're going to take everything with us now to my office but we've got quite the amount of things to send out um, but i also actually i had a whatnot show last night and so i need to send out everything over here as well but I am not gonna worry about that for my porch pickup. That is definitely not something I want to make my people deal with that pick up my mail. <laughs> so we're gonna deal with all of this pile, send all of this out, and then I will deal with that. So let's do these pieces. Okay, but then the last piece before I get to sending out, the Valentino sunglasses, they're so cool. I found these, look at this. I found these at a garage sale in my local area I live in now. They were a dollar at the garage sale. So very excited about these. I have the Valentino case as well. So this, and so the Valentino case is getting sent out with the glasses. This is what they look like. $150 sale right here. So cool. I feel like they don't look that cool on me, but maybe with my new haircut. <laughs> but this is what they look like. They're a tortoise shell. They're really interesting, really cool. And they are Valentino. So got those for a dollar, but we sold these on Poshmark for $150. And so we'll make $120 from these. So $119 of net profit. And this will definitely make it into my best sales of the month video. So <laughs> you'll see them, I'm sure again, but here you guys go. In real time, they just sold. I need to send them out. And so here we are gonna send all of these pieces out. I'm gonna box up the rest of them and then put them outside. And while I'm boxing up, you guys are gonna have the fun, fun job of watching me go thrifting. So now we're gonna take it back to the Goodwill I went to yesterday. I had just gotten my hair done. I was like, oh, I should stop at this Goodwill while I'm here. And I found some really good items. So let's go thrifting together, guys.
working on. Debut, okay. Come here. Oh, sweet boy. What a good baby. Okay, so we're back home from thrifting. I only got a few pieces. I was there for, I think, two hours or so, and I just wasn't finding as many things as I normally do. So I decided to just pick out what I had found already and then to just head home. I ended up getting 13 items for $68. So that's right around $5 a piece, I believe, a little bit less. But some of these are really good and really cute. So this first piece I found, super adorable, little floral blouse. And it has all this embroidery around the neckline as well. And a little bit of a poof sleeve. But this is by the brand Blink London, which I think I've never found before. But this is a brand that is sold at Anthropology. It's a size extra small. But I thought this was a really pretty blouse. And it was $4.99, so I decided to pick that up. Come here. Are you joining? Odie, are you joining? Come here, baby. Good boy. Okay. Then this next piece, I went back and forth on, because this is a great brand, but I wasn't quite sure if this style was worth picking up. It is a racerback style little kind of t-shirt dress with those little buttons on the front, but it's from Lily Pulitzer, which I love selling Lily Pulitzer. It does really well for me. This is in a size small and it's 100% Pima cotton. And I decided to pick it up. The dress price is at Goodwill, no matter what the dress is really, is $7.99. So $7.99 for this, $8. But I looked up comps and a lot of them I saw were selling around 40 bucks. So for me, I decided that was worth it. And then you guys saw the vast amount of Eileen Fisher I saw in that new rack. I was so excited. So I found four pieces on the new rack. I grabbed those, snagged them, put them in my cart. But then as I was looking through the other pieces, I decided that two of them just were too worn or had some marks on them and just weren't going to sell as well. So I left those behind, but I did pick up two items. So left two, picked up two. First one is this really cute little kind of fun, longer on the sides, kind of tunic length shirt from Eileen Fisher. Lovely color. This is what she looks like. Eileen Fisher, it's in a size medium. And these ones also looked newer than the other ones too. Some of the other ones tags were just a little older. They were definitely, they'd been around a lot longer. This is a mixture of viscose and spandex and it's a really nice piece and it smells really good. And then the second Eileen Fisher piece that I picked up was this black one. It has a seam straight down the middle, which I love. And then it has a little longer of a short sleeve. And again, a little longer kind of on the sides. And it's a really cute little swing top. And this one is also in a size medium from Eileen Fisher. Love Eileen Fisher, really expensive retail. And they tend to kind of sell pretty well for me. And this one is 93% Tencel. So Lyocell and then Spandex. So that's also a great, a great pickup in my opinion. And then we have this fun dress. So I was really hoping I was gonna find some dresses that were amazing because dresses are one of my favorite categories to resell. But this one is a cutie and it's this blue and kind of sandy color that is mixed and that has this little stretchy section at the waist and then it goes into a ruffle at the bottom. It's a really fun dress, but this is from the brand Rails, which is a great brand to know. Rails is one of those brands that is really expensive retail and also can resell really well. In a size small for $7.99, that was a heck yes for me. I didn't even look up comps, I probably should have, but my guess is that I can resell this and list it between $65 and $75 and then hopefully make at least 50 bucks when I sell that. Speaking of great finds, this piece is gonna be shocking because it is right after Christmas season, but this sort of sweater does incredibly well for me when I resell it online. These things that have all this fun knitting, all the fun embroidery, it's vintage, it's cool. These sell well. I usually sell these for over $50. Like, I don't think I've ever sold one for less than that. So this is what the brand looks like. I think it is just a, I don't know this name of this brand, it's Galleons. I didn't pick it up based on the name. It's knitted by hand and it's in a size large. It's a really cool, 
Christmas knit cardigan. I absolutely adore it. I love the bottom with the like, I don't even know what that is, a Christmas goose or a duck. And then there's Santa's sleigh, really adorable. And then we have also, whoop, we have a sleigh here on the back. Really cute. I'm expecting to list that for $65 or $75 and I'll sell it for over 50. And so that was wonderful. And then I picked up one pair of Madewell jeans. I had a few pairs there. Not all were in great condition. Not all were a desirable style. These ones were the 10 inch high rise skinny jean and a 27 petite. And the petite is one of the reasons why I picked it up because I knew that petites and talls from Madewell tend to do pretty well. Um, but these are just, you know, a nice classic blue skinny jean and they're $7.99. And I've been selling a lot of Madewell jeans lately for around $40. So I decided to grab her, make that worth it. Then I picked up three pairs of shorts from the new rack. Was it the new rack that I got these on? I think so. And so the first pair here, these were all $3.99. This is a pair of Nike shorts. I got those for my husband. Another pair of Nike shorts for my husband. $3.99 each for those is a great deal. And then this pair is also in his size, but I decided to grab it to resell. And then if he wants it, he can have it. But these are a pair of North Face little shorts, which I thought were really cool. I really like this kind of adjustable belt and it's really fun that it has the mountains on it. Isn't that so nice? So that's what the belt looks like. And then these are from the North Face. The North Face is one of those brands that does really well for me on the resale market. Just the North Face in general, it's a men's size large. I would wager that the resale on these is around 35 to $40 and I paid $3.99. So I felt good about that. I got two pieces of home goods. The first is this really cute little oil lamp, but I love the blue glass base. I don't find anything with that blue, the really saturated blue color that often. This was $1.99. And underneath the sticker, it says nutmeg, which is very interesting to me. I didn't realize that it said anything until I got home. So if you guys know anything about that, uh, let me know. Very interesting. The other thing I got, this was $3.99. I just thought this was so adorable though. I got this for either my mother-in-law or my mom eventually. I just thought it was so sweet. It is a cross stitch with a baby carriage and all these cute little cross stitching. And it says grandchildren are God's way of compensating us for growing older. Then there's all these little cross stitched flowers in the bottom. Like somebody spent hours doing this and I paid $3.99 for it. It's so cute and vintage. I love it so much. It's really up my alley. But Jeremy's mom is already a grandma. We are aunts and uncles, and so I thought it'd be really cute maybe in their little nursery area for the grandkiddos. But I decided to grab that. And then the very last thing, great find. Very excited about this. This was also $7.99. It was in the dress section. It is this really fun maxi length dress. It is very interesting. It has these kind of longer sides, really kind of lagging look to it. And I almost overlooked this because the tag was falling off, but it is still stitched on one side, thankfully. And it is the brand Peruvian Connection, which is a great brand to resell, great color. And this is in a size small. So Peruvian Connection, really nice pieces. A lot of their more intricate pieces can resell for like close to $100. I've sold a lot of their pieces for $70, $75. So for this, for a longer piece in great condition, it's 51% Pima cotton, 49% modal. I would say this will probably resell for around $65. So felt pretty good about that. I spent $68 for everything. With just the Peruvian Connection dress, we're looking at almost basically breaking even. And then we have all those other amazing pieces as well as a couple home goods and things for Jeremy thrown in. Like that is a win in my book. So. There we go, we shipped, we shipped some orders, we shopped, we found some things that hopefully will be shipping out soon again. And so let me know if you guys liked this format of doing a little bit of both sides of the biz of sending, but also getting in new inventory. I think it's fun. So let me know what you think, but I am so grateful for you guys. Thank you guys for coming along with me today. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.